Taking up next question, question 19. A thief running at 8 km per hour is chased by a policeman whose speed is 10 km per hour. If the thief is 100 meter ahead of the policeman, then the time required for the policeman to catch thief will be. So I'll just show what is given. Um, the normal, uh, there is two method to solve this question. Um, one is the normal method. Uh, which is uh, say the policeman will catch thief at uh, in t time so at with t time let's say they catch here they catch uh, and when the thief reaches this point policeman also catch up catches up and reach here uh, so the time let's say the time taken is t so the total distance from here the thief ran is 8 into t and the total distance policeman ran from here is since his speed is 10 10 into t t in hours so if i assume t is in hours so and we also know that this 10 t is nothing but 10 t is 8 t which is this distance plus 100 so plus 100 so we get 10 t minus 80 2 t equal to 100 and t is equal to 50 so, so this is 100 meter so there is this is wrong since the unit is not same so since we have 100 meter here if we write everything in kilometers and hours 100 meter become uh, by thousand that is point uh, one so 2t equal to point one or t equal to point one by 2 this is in hours so if you multiply by 60 uh, we get um, in time in minutes so this becomes 30 or 3 so 3 minutes is the answer this is the usual step so we could also solve this using the concept of relative velocity so people who are familiar with the relative velocity concept can skip this part for people who are unfamiliar uh, uh, I am discussing this. So, the relative velocity is um, you, if uh, the relative velocity of two people can be found out in uh, by first seeing whether they are running in the same direction or opposite direction. So, say v1 is the velocity of the first person and v2 is the velocity of second person and they are running both in the same direction. So if v1 is greater than v2, we can say that the relative velocity of them is v1 minus v2. Why? I'll just explain with an example. Say this person is running at 10 km per hour. And this person is running at 5 km per hour. The relative velocity is when, for the, from the perspective of this person, this person is moving ahead at a speed of difference of these two people so if it is 10 minus 5 for every hour this person will see this person moving ahead at 5 km per hour this what is this 5 the difference between these two so if this is smaller say in in this our example uh, the speeds are given sorry Speeds are given as the thief is running at 8 km per hour and policeman is running at 10 km per hour. So after each hour, this policeman will find that he is 2 km closer to this thief. Since at after one hour he ran 8 km, let this be 8 km and he ran 10 km from here. So if you subtract this 8 kilometers, he will see that this is 8 kilometers. Say he uh, he is just 2 kilometer closer to him after 1 hour. So that is the difference of their speeds. So after 1 hour, they are v1 minus v2 dis uh, distance closer after 1 hour. So uh, th that is a concept of ve uh, relative velocity so we can in relative velocity cases we can assume uh, we can say that this person is 
at standstill he is not moving and this person is traveling at a speed v1 minus v2 closer to him so if this person is still and if he is moving at v1 minus v2 at, at with a particular time this their gap will be closed this distance if he is standing still this distance can be covered in v1 minus v2 time so um, and if they are in the another case is when they are moving to in the same direction so if this is v1 and this is v2 we can say that in similar situation the relative velocity is if this person is standing still his relative velocity is will be v1 plus v2 and this he can travel this distance that is the distance between them in v1 plus v2 speed and he will reach this person at v1 plus v2 speed so uh, here if you apply this concept you can see the relative velocity between the thief and policeman is 10 minus 8 which is 2 km per hour so if thief is standing you can assume thief is standing still uh, when in actual they are both running in the same direction but we can assume this thief is standing still and reduce the speed of thief to policeman and find out his relative speed so that he will be able to travel 100 meters uh, at 2 km per hour when they reach so the moment they reach the thief um, is the time the policeman take to travel 100 meters in relative speed so i hope it is not getting confusing so um, 100 meters is 0.1 uh, kilometer so it's the same equation so um, if the time taken is if 2 kilometer uh, at, at, two, at 2 kilometer per hour uh, the time taken to uh, cover 0.1 meter is uh, speed by uh, sorry distance by speed so which is 0.1 by uh, 2 and this is in hours and if you multiply with 60 we'll get uh, 30 and 3 uh, three minutes as our answer so the if you understand this concept the moment you see the question you will be able to fr find the relative velocity and the distance that needs to be covered and use use it to quickly reach the answer so this is much simpler if you understand the concept so i will just for the sake of understanding i will just give another case where say p policeman is running 10 km per hour in this direction and thief was running 8 km per hour in uh, towards him so this is highly unlikely <laughs> say instead of policeman and thief it was two cars moving in the same direction and and at what point they will reach uh, at what point they will meet if that is the question so using relative velocity it is very simple so if first we are given uh, say um, uh, they have uh, one kilometer say for this, this simplicity we will say there is one kilometer between them and since we can put this person as stationary and use the relative speed concept so 10 plus 8 18 at 18 kilometer per hour what time will it take to cover one kilometer that is the question so one by uh, so uh, we can say that distance uh, time is taken will be distance by speed that is one by 18 will be the answer so quickly we found out just in one second we can find out the answer so uh, if you understand the concept of relative velocity it is very simple to solve such questions so i hope you understand if if it is confusing i'll do another video comment uh, uh, comment below i'll do my, uh, i'll try to give more examples and i'll explain this concept better i hope you understood so this is the solution to question number 19